Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. This is a picture of an unshielded twisted pair cable. And as we'll see, we have a couple different types of cables. We've got our unshielded twisted pair, our UTP, and then we've got a fiber cable as well that actually uses fiber optics. And the unshielded twisted pair is as a copper uh, center in each of these twisted pairs, and it uses electrical pulses or electrical signals to transmit bits over the wire, whereas fiber optics is going to use light over fiber optics to transmit your bits and bytes. Now let's talk, talk about the ways we can actually wire one of these UTP cables to connect to different devices. The first one is going to be a straight through cable. And this is when both ends are the same. So pr we've probably all seen a Ethernet cable, a UTP cable, which, ha which has an RJ45 connector at the end. Well, this RJ45 connector, inside it are these twisted pairs, and they're separated, and they're stuck into this RJ45 connector in a certain order. And when both ends are the same, so in this example, we can see a straight-through cable. One end is the uh, white and orange, and then orange, and then white and green, and then blue, and then white and blue and then green, and then white and brown, then brown, and the other end is exactly the same. It's called a straight-through cable. So this end is the same as this end. This is also referred to as a patch cable. And we're going to connect a computer to a hub with, with this straight-through cable, a computer to a switch, or even a switch to a router. So patch cables are going to be your most common type of cable. And it's also important to note that Technically, the colors don't matter. There are different standards. Uh, I mean, this could be blue. This could be blue and white. The colors don't matter. The, what does matter is that both ends are the same. And you can see uh, the first two wires are your transmit, and then wire three and wire six are actually the receive wires. The next type of cable is going to be a crossover cable. And this is wired so that the first wire, in this example, it's uh, white and orange. But again, remember that the colors don't technically matter. It's just how they match up on the ends. So the first wire at one end actually goes to the third position on the other end. The second one goes all the way down to the sixth position. The third one goes up to the first position at the other end. The fourth one goes down to the seventh position. The fifth one actually goes up to the, I'm sorry, the, the sixth one goes up to the second position. The seventh one goes to the fourth position. And the last one goes to the fifth position. And we're going to recap the three different type of cables here in a second in order to go over exactly how to remember them. They're actually pretty easy to remember. We don't necessarily have to remember this exact order. So we're going to use a crossover cable when we're going from a switch to a switch, a hub to a hub, a host to a host, a hub to a switch, a router to a host, or a router to a router. So we can think of using a crossover cable when we're connecting like devices. So devices that are the same, like a switch to a switch, a hub to a hub, host to a host. When we need to connect like devices, we're going to be using a crossover cable. When we're connecting uh, devices that we would normally connect to each other, like a host to a switch, then we're using a straight through cable. And it is important to know which type of cable you use for which type of connection. So we want to memorize all these different type of connections for the different type of cable. The next type of cable is going to be a rolled cable, and honestly, you're probably not going to actually make a rolled cable, uh, but we just need to know what it is, and we do need to know how it's wired. Uh, we probably will make crossover cables and regular patch cables. 
this is what uh, a rolled cable actually looks like. And normally when you get it, you buy a Cisco switch or router. Uh, we get this cable here. You can see it has a console port at the end and a normal RJ45 port, uh, connector at the other end. And this is what we use to console in to a Cisco router or switch. And the ends are complete opposites. So this one's very easy to remember. Uh, the first at one end, the first wire at one end, goes into the eighth position at the other end. The second one goes into the seventh, and so on and so forth. So they're complete opposites, and then we get down to the eighth, it goes down to the first. So they're complete reverse. And again, the colors aren't very important, but here's an example of how it would look. So now let's talk about how to remember these. Well, rolled cable is easy. They're just opposites of each other. And then straight through is easy to remember too because both ends are the same. And then the only other type of wiring we can do for a UTP cable is a crossover. So if it's not, if both ends aren't the same or they're not complete opposites, then you got a crossover cable. But again, it is important to remember when we're going to use each type of cable. Straight through is going to be your normal connections. Crossover is going to be when you're connecting like devices. And a rolled cable is to console in to a router or switch.